All right, YouTube. Here comes a product review for you. Uh, the Harbor Freight item it is their 1,920-pound gross vehicle weight trailer that you can get. So basically, this trailer is uh, I got probably about $350 into it. The trailer itself, $300. Uh, you know, use the 20% off coupons, and then you can, uh, I'd say probably another $50 maybe in the wood that I put on it, and I use some stainless steel hardware as well. So, the wiring system that it comes with, it works well. It, it kind of came with these little clips that you're supposed to put up here on the frame. But instead, I just kind of put it in the channel and uh, wrapped some electrical tape around it. Held that in place for the most part. I also, you can see this, this blue wire in here. That's not in the normal wiring harness. That's a wire that I added to the, the uh, white wire, that ground and I basically used that wire and I ran it all the way through the frame and that way I've got a good solid ground for every light and I know that the lights are going to work because the ground is always the first thing to go everybody knows that so the trailer it recommends a three quarter inch plywood treated deck I only put a half inch deck on it and I've only got that deck uh, supported by probably like eight of these eight of these screws right here. And then the I put these stainless steel eyelets. They're holding the wood stakes in, which are just two by fours. Again, it's just uh, it's not treated OSB on the walls. Twelve inch five volt lug wheel that's always a plus the one thing I will mention that I wasn't a big fan of is the license plate bracket holder here it's it itself didn't bend and it's probably just if I put another license plate on it I'm going to put some sort of wood backer or metal a thicker metal backer because license plates these days are so thin that they don't they just flop around in the wind other than that it's a completely bolt together system I can personally say that it took a full day just using wrenches to put it together like eight hour day so if you have the time to spare $350 you have yourself a pretty style trailer. I know I probably had it overloaded and this trailer helped me move from Decatur, Illinois to Kansas City, Missouri and it probably oh just off the top of my head that's like 360 miles I think and it has made I'd have to say probably four or five different trips. So for that price, if you can save yourself on the U-Haul, you're, you're definitely saving. So it's nice. It hauls fine. Hauls wonderful. I didn't really didn't even know it's there. If there's anything I could say about the way it hauled it with a full-size F-150 truck, is that the only thing I could really see in my mirror was the outside edge of this license plate unless I was turning I haven't used it so I can't really do so much comment on it but it is set up so that it can be tilted other than that it's a two inch ball hitch has the safety chains
like I say, overall, really good trailer. I'm quite impressed with it. My wife is impressed with it. And, uh, it's just the uh, solid round axle. And, uh, one other thing that I could say is you'll see a lot of reviews if you look at the reviews on the uh, Harbor Freight website is to automatically count on just going and buying some different bearings and putting those in. Well, seeing as how I didn't really know what bearings to get or this and that, I just thoroughly cleaned the bearings and they definitely needed to be cleaned. There was a lot of gunk in there, some metal shavings. I don't know. If I would have just used those out of the package, there's no way it would have survived. So I gave them a really good clear, cleaning and uh, greased it thoroughly. Well, there you have it. A product review on the Harbor Freight 1,920 pound gross vehicle weight trailer. It will definitely do anybody good that needs it. The deck, one final thing, deck, as if you can't find it, figure this out on the website, is four feet by eight feet, so by the time you put the stakes in, you're losing a little bit of that room. Thank you.